بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم uh, is a uh, is is a mountain of uh, virtues and a mountain of uh, characteristics uh, that are um, at the highest rank uh, in human history and human um, consciousness that is very difficult to describe. Um, it is, uh, it, it, I feel like standing in front of a huge mountain trying to describe every detail uh, in the mountain. But what I can descri describe uh, in, of the life of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described his life. Uh, when he described him, he did not describe him uh, as you know, a great warrior, even though he was, uh, or a great leader, even though he was, or a great friend, or a great father, or grandfather, or um, uh, one of the greatest um, wise men of, of human history. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described him as وَإِنَّكَ عَلَى, عَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ You have a great moral character. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described Muhammad as the greatest moral character uh, in human history. And uh, he subhanahu wa sallam had reached that level by a very, very special connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He had a very deep love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He could not wait to um, stand at night, uh, make wudu and stand and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for hours every night sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in order to uh, connect with his beloved subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, this deep love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him uh, give us dua uh, or prayers that were unprecedented in human history. You don't, he, he, we've never heard about a prophet, whether you read about a prophet in any of the ancient uh, books or the Bible or any of the Vedas or any, any book that talks about the divine. You, you don't read that level of prayers uh, to the divine. And this excellence in praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to God. Uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, if you just look at the prayers that he uh, used to say, in every situation he has a prayer and that prayer has something to do with God and what God had given him in that particular uh, situation and he was very very creative in that out of uh, love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his moral character sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, in his family sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was uh, a great deal uh, Aisha radiallahu anha said كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في خدمة أهلي he was at the service of his family you know, that, that description is enough for a great prophet and a, and a great man to, to just be at the service of his family, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His character uh, in terms of dealing with enemies, for example, to take another example, uh, is a great example. Uh, he always prayed to Allah um, uh, to allow him harmani. He would pray to Allah so that he would have the strength to forgive those who oppress him and to give those who never gave him and uh, to, to uh, actually uh, be good to those who were not good to him And he did this out of a great heart so, and, and uh, the companion who described him dealing with people who come and attack him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said فَلَا يَزِيدُهُ جَهْلُ الْجَاهِلِ إِلَّا حِلْمًا So the person who comes to him and attacks him the more the person attacks him the more he smiles sallallahu alayhi wa sallam So at that level of morality and that level of uh, a heart that is connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, Muhammad is a, an example not just for Muslims in fact Muhammad is a human example for humans, whoever they are, believers or disbelievers. And we Muslims have a duty, in fact, to present Muhammad وسلم, in that light, not just as an example for Muslims in terms of his sunnah, but an example for mankind in terms of how he conducted his life, how he dealt with enemies, how he dealt with friends, how he dealt with the environment, uh, how he dealt 
uh, with uh, food in, in moderation and with, with water in, in mo moderation um, and with uh, even even at the times of uh, difficulty uh, how he gave charity وسلم, and at times uh, as I was saying of attack and rudeness from people how he uh, gave them a smile and how he described a smile as a charity uh, وسلم, and so on so we do have to um, focus on Muhammad the man and present Muhammad the man to humanity and this is part of our duty as Muslims uh, that we have to present. As I'm saying, Muhammad is a mountain that uh, you stand in front of and you don't know how to describe. Uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us uh, along his path uh, behind him and to forgive us uh, as long as we are you know, behind him in, in that path. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.